So for cubic sequence, the same thing happens. Basically, when in the exams, you won't come to know is the cubic sequence. So what you need to do is you start taking the differences. So I call the sequence, original sequence, the sequence one to begin with. I take the first difference. So first difference is 25 minus 6, 76 minus 25, 177 minus 76. We won't take the differences. We won't take the differences. 601 minus this is 255. 960 minus 601 is 359. You two keep on doing differences till you get a constant difference. So difference two is similarly. I'm just writing I have worked it out. So you can work it out carefully. If you have a calculator paper, you can use your calculator and work it out. The non-calculator paper, you subtract carefully to get the differences. I have to keep on finding differences till I get a constant difference. So here I'm getting a constant difference. 18, 18, 18, 18, 18. So I find my third difference is constant. So as my third difference is constant, this term, this sequence will have an nq, I'll have to take the constant difference and divide that by 6. So that's the formula. So if it's a if the Third difference is constant. You take the constant difference. You take the third constant difference. You I mean, third means you take the third constant difference, divide it by six, and you put nq. So for quadratic in the last video, we saw that we took the constant difference, the second constant difference, we divided by two, and we multiplied the n squared. So this gives me p nq. So my my final answer, my final sequence will have a 3 and Q. Now I have to see the other terms. To find the other terms, what I do is I take my I copy my original sequence. So that is 6, 25, 76, 177, 346. You can copy four, five terms, doesn't matter. Yeah, you can copy now. You generate you find out p and q. Suppose if I you try to subtract the factor of p and q from the sequence. So I take n as one. So p into one q, p into two q, two q is eight, eight into three is twenty-four. Then I take three q, three q is twenty-seven into three is eighty-one. Four q, that's one ninety-two. We can find a few terms. No need of finding this, you can find a few terms. If I can find one more term and three seven. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five. So five cube is one twenty-five, one twenty-five into three. That's what I do. Now I will try to filter off the effect of the first term that I got. This is the term I got, I'll try to filter off the effect by subtracting that. So that's three, that's one, that's minus five, that's minus fifteen, that's minus twenty-nine. You subtract them. So that's my new sequence that I get. So I get a new sequence by filtering of the effect of 3 and Q. Now I treat this as a new sequence, my sequence 2, and I do the same thing. I'll take the first difference. You treat this like a new sum. So first difference, difference 1. So this is this is 1 minus 3, that's minus 2. Take this difference, that's minus 6. Take this difference. Minus 10, take this difference, that's minus 14. Take the, you have to keep on different sizing till you get a constant difference. So difference 2. So minus 6, that's minus 4, minus 4, minus 4. Oh, so that's my constant difference. So if my second difference is constant, what will you do? You will take the constant difference, you divide it by 2 and you put your n squared. So this will have minus 2n squared as the second term which will be there. Now the same process continues. That means what will I do is I take my sequence 2 and I try to filter off the effect of minus 2n squared. So I take my sequence 2 which was 3, 1, minus 5, minus 15, minus 29. I'll, I'll take the effect of 2n squared means I'll take n as 1, n as 2, n as 3 and put in this. So if I take n as 1 with minus 2, 
minus 2, 4 to the 8, minus 3, 9 to the 18, minus 4, 32, minus 5, 25, 50, minus 50, 32 to the 6. We subtract, we are trying to subtract of that effect of uh, the minus 2 and square. We subtract them, so we get 5. We will get 9 because 1 minus minus 8 is 1 minus minus 8 is 9. Minus 5 plus 18 is 13. You subtract. So minus and minus becomes plus, minus and minus becomes plus. So that becomes my new sequence. So you treat this like a new sum now. You treat this sequence as a new sum because we have filtered out this effect of this. So now you again take the difference. You take the difference for. 4, 4, 4. My first difference is constant. If my first difference is constant, that means this will contribute to my 4n. This will contribute to 4n. Now the same thing you do. You write your sequence. You try to get the constant term. So my sequence 3 we have. Sequence 3 is having, I'm just writing a few of the terms because I'm just trying to generate the constant term. 13, 17, I can write first 4 terms. I take 4 in coefficient and I subtract it out. So I take n is 1, so that's 4, n is 2, 8, n is 3, 12, n is 4, 16. I try to subtract out this effect from it, so that's 1, 1, 1, 1. So that's my constant which is there. This is my constant which is there. So that means my quadratic sequence, my cubic sequence is p and q minus 2n square plus 4n plus 1. That's my cubic sequence. 